Today we're going to be doing duck lob. But one thing that we're doing different from how my dad used to make it is we're going to do it over the grill. Grilling over fire, it's so innate inside of me. In Hmong families, we have these huge gatherings. It's this big grill, fire, and the smoke, and the sizzling. It was very iconic. There's something very beautiful about cooking over wood fire. It's deeper than Hmong food to me. It's legacy. So making lab is one of dad's specialties. So he'd take the whole duck, he would break it down, and he'd grind it all up and he'd make lab out of it. He's like kind of known for that in our little family circle. Lab is usually made from beef and pork and chicken, but never really with duck. And when dad was making duck, it was for a very special occasion. Today, we're gonna to be using the duck breast. Now, what I love about duck breast, on this skin, that has this layer of fat. So as we're cooking this, we have to be very mindful of this over the grill. We really want to render that skin now, you know, so to get it real crispy as we build this lob together. We're gonna take salt, remember six inches. You wanna hit everything evenly. And we're gonna take some pepper, same thing. When you're seasoning, you always go both sides. When I come to my fire here, I created two parts. The section right here is our cool side, and this section right here is our hot side. We're gonna take a fat side, the skin side here, just gonna lay it down. As you can tell, it starts bubbling. When we're cooking over fire, you're using all your senses. You can hear that sizzling. Look at this. You see that? It's barely been in there for about a minute and a half, and that crispiness right there and the fat rendering down. It's beautiful. As the fat drips and hits the ember, that smoke comes up and that smoke really permeates through this lob dish. As you can see, it's starting to flare up a little bit, so we're just gonna move it up a little. Don't let the fire control you, you control the fire here. So we're almost there on a few of these here. For this, we're gonna just flip these guys over. And if you feel that, ooh, nice, real crunchy. When you're cooking duck, you don't wanna go anywhere past medium. You know, if you go past that, the duck's gonna get really uh, tough. Uh, it's gonna get dried. So we really wanna keep it at a medium rare, medium, depending on how you feel about it. And we really want that really quick sear on that flesh side, so we're just gonna lower this. Okay, so we have our ducks all flipped over. Oh yeah, you can hear that crispy. There it is, that's the crispy check. As I look at my duck breast here, I know that's done. I can feel it. It's not bouncing back as much. This is perfect. We're gonna pull this off. That residual heat is gonna keep cooking it a little bit. So I let the duck breast rest for about six, seven minutes here. Most simplest way of cutting it is I cut it with the skin side down. I'm gonna do one cut right down the middle and then I'm just gonna do these small little cuts right here. I usually just try to get them like bite size. Okay, so we have our duck all cut up, ready to go here in the bowl. The next part we have here is all the aromatics we're gonna put in there. We're gonna start with some shallots. Next thing we're gonna do is we have some Thai chilies all chopped up. So we'll do that. Chopped up garlic, throw that right in there. A little fish sauce in there. This is the secret ingredient, right? This is the thing that my dad really taught me about making good lob is lemongrass, you know? This is such a key component to making lob. So we're gonna throw the lemongrass right in. Another key component is toasted rice flour. It gives us this deep, uh, kind of nutty flavor. And also, if there's too much liquid in your lob, the toasted rice flour actually absorbs all that liquid. This wouldn't be complete without the acid, so we have some limes here. And then I just love black pepper, so I'm gonna do that. And all these flavors are marrying together. You want every piece of that meat to be covered with all this dressing. It's perfect, and then we're gonna set this up for the lettuce wrap. 
Now we're here to the final part, and this is my favorite, putting everything together. We're gonna grab our lob here. We're gonna grab butter lettuce. I love it, some of the lob, throw it right in the center. I love watermelon radishes. I'm gonna throw a little piece of watermelon radish in there. It helps with that crunch. Some bean sprouts. You know, we like herbs. We got some Thai basil right here. A very classic herb is mint. I'm gonna throw it right in there. Some carrots. I mean, you can go whatever you want. You just wrap it up and then, there's no pretty way to eat this thing. It looks pretty, but you might not look pretty doing it. You just gotta go in. Those flavors, they're so classic. It brings me back to just watching dad making this dish at home. I really love lob because it's something that my father makes and it's something that I cook to connect with him. Duck over the grill may seem a little scary, but you can do it and your family's gonna thank you for it.